Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this really easy clutch bag or a small crossbody bag. And you can add one tassel in the center or you could add tassels on both sides. So let's get started. You can slow down the videos by clicking the gear icon below the video. To make this easy bag, you can use either one strand of chunky yarn or two strands of worsted weight yarn or three strands of a cotton yarn and a seven millimeter crochet hook. To make this clutch bag, I'm going to start with a foundation chain that is as wide as I would like my clutch purse to be and then I'm going to work until I have it the length that I would like so that I can fold it over and bring a flap down to the front. Start with a slip knot and work a foundation chain in any length that you would like for your clutch bag to be. like that. And now I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. One, two, and in each stitch all the way across the row. All the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. At the end of the row, you're going to chain one and turn, and this row will be repeated over and over until the work is the correct size. So in that very first stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And then single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. Like that, all the way across the row like that and you just keep repeating that row over and over until you have the correct length and this is about 12 inches. In the last row I made a buttonhole and I did that by finding the center stitch here single crochet right up to that center stitch there's the center stitch single crochet in the stitch, chain two, one, two, single crochet in the same stitch. If you have a larger button, chain a longer chain. And then you're just going to continue across the row, single crochet in each stitch, and then fasten off at the end. When your rectangle is finished, you're going to fold this over like this, so that you have a nice flap. And I had a long yarn end, so I threaded it into a yarn needle. And I'm going to sew all the way down both sides. Like that, all the way down. And then down the other side. And then there's the buttonhole. And then I'll sew a button here on the center front. To turn it into a small crossbody bag, you can just attach straps on both sides. And to have a rigid bag, you can take a piece of plastic canvas cord, fold that to fit inside, and slide that inside your bag. And that's how easy it is to crochet this clutch bag or small crossbody bag. For more of my crochet bag videos, I'll put a link below.